do is T.O. Double back again with another video, you know what I'm talking about. And we got my man Emerson in the building. How you doing, man? Good, good. Listen, y'all don't understand. I've been telling y'all about vision, right? But listen, vision is powerful. I don't think y'all getting it. I think it's some of y'all that's watching these videos and you're like, man, that sounds good. And you're going about your life as if you never watched the video. Look, he started off in the basement of life, low, and then took his vision to the clouds, past the clouds, literally. This man is a pilot. You know what I'm talking about? Flying planes. I, I, look, I get excited. I, I'll be telling people, you gotta forgive me. I get excited, because people don't understand the power of having a mental picture for your life and what it can do for you. You don't have to always be where you're at. See something, and you can be whatever you see. It's cliche, but it's so true. You know what I'm talking about? I'm gonna let my man Emerson tell y'all the story, because it's great. Right, yeah, starting, um, I came from a very poor background and I lost my parents when I was three years old. And, uh, well, so I was in London working and uh, yeah, I, I was a courier. I was delivering uh, important parcels, like packages. Oh, okay, you know? okay. Like, um, uh, I had clearance to, to the uh, MI6 building. Right. To, uh, oh, wow. <laughs> To uh, the uh, Buckingham Palace, yeah, yeah, with the Queen's House. Wow. Um, uh, to the number ten Downing Street, the Prime Minister House. So I had that kind of clearance. Okay. And uh, I used to just uh, deliver important packages, right? right. So the, 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 my boss called me and he said, uh, "Emerson, could you come to the company?" And I said, "Yeah. Uh, okay. I want you to deliver this this parcel. It's like 20, 25 minutes from here in Battersea." I said, "Yeah. Uh, sure." It, so I, I, it was an envelope, right? Yeah. And in the envelope, there was something like I, I would assume it was like a smartphone, or I, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but it was important. So I went to this uh, to this uh, client's house, and um, he opened the door. He was a pastor. He, he was okay. telling me, "Okay, uh, I'm a pastor, and you are the messenger of God." I said, "What?" Uh, yeah, you you are the messenger. Uh, God sent you here to bring the envelope to me. Do you know what is in the, the, the envelope? I said, no, I don't. Because uh, we're not allowed to open the envelope. Right. right. So he said, here is the key. The key for the temple. I said, what? This key is for the new temple and God brought you here. So I want to bless you. I want to pray for you. Okay. And uh, just ask whatever you like, whatever you want. And God will bless you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You telling me that you delivered a package to this guy. Yeah. And this guy was so excited. He said, you are the messenger of God. Yeah. And I'm so excited <laughs> that you brought this package. I want you to tell me what you want me to do for you. Is that what he said? Yes. And wow. then um, I, I was so... Uh, I, I didn't... I, I didn't, I was so carried away about, you know, like the, 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 the work, the, the, you know, how, how life was. So, yeah. um, I, I thought, no, just pray. Just, you know, like bless, uh, blessing my family, my brothers. Okay. And that's, that's all I want. It's like, no, you don't understand. The Lord of Lords, the God Almighty, He's asking you what you want. Woo! And you come to me and say, just pray? No. Wow. <laughs> Look, though, before you continue, that's why I told y'all the other day, write your vision down. Or like, have it, like, you gotta figure out what you wanna do. What if that important person comes to your life who can help you, who can bless you, and you don't have anything in your mind? You know what I'm talking about? This guy ran into a guy who said, what do you want me to do for you? He said, he said he was so busy working, you know what I'm talking about, that he just said, I don't know, just pray for my family. The guy was like, what? I'm at, no, you don't understand. What is your vision? And that, you gotta understand. That's why you gotta have a vision so you can be ready. God is gonna send those type of people to you, but you have to be ready, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, and, then, uh, and all of a sudden, there was this voice, I, I, I believe it was the Holy Spirit telling me, you once wanted to become a pilot. And uh, ask him. And then I, I just, like, I was really, you know, uh, and humbly I said, okay, I, I just want to be a pilot, airplane pilot. He said, I tell you one thing, just a pilot, God wants to give you more. But if you want him to be a pilot, yeah, that's what you want uh, to get. And he prayed, like, very simple words. Okay. He said, um, God, you heard what he asked you. And... Uh, he wants to become a pilot. And that's it. That's and I said, wow. 
and, and I felt like oh, I I was filled by the, the, the Holy Spirit at that moment. Right. And from that moment on, I started to be uh, to 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 study to uh, you know like things right. come easily it started to materialize ma materialize and yeah that that how and where are you at now? Well, now I'm a commercial pilot and um, yeah, um, a commercial <laughs> pilot. This guy started off from the bottom and is in the sky because of a mental picture of what he wanted to be. You know what I'm talking about? And there was a part where you was talking about how you were so busy with work and doing things that you really didn't want to do that it almost distracted you from being a pilot. Talk about that. Yes, uh, sometimes we do things that we um, we have to do, right? Right. Because that's 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 how how uh, our thing. So sometimes we for, forget about the things that you want to become. Right. And, and I believe God has prepared has already prepared the best for us and he has planted a seed in our hearts that what you want to become right and uh that's what i believe so what right? would you tell the people about that like so yeah trust first thing trust in god and uh, like like i said like write it down in a piece of paper what you want uh, to be accomplished in your life yes to be fulfilled and I tell you one thing, God is faithful. Yes. And He will help you, will help you. to do uh, the things that you cannot do. Woo. Because everything you can do, God will not touch. But things that you cannot do, then God will help you. And that's far, I just walk away. Bruh, did y'all hear what He said? He said God is not going to help you with what you can do, but what you can't do. The Bible says God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can ever think or ask. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, this thing is real. God is, I'm telling y'all, God is talking to y'all. He's talking to me. I mean, you really got to listen. You really got to have a vision. It's not just for no reason that God is putting this out there. You know what I'm talking about? God has great things for all of us, but we really, really got to start, like, go from just hearing to actually doing. Write your vision down. Make it plain. You know what I'm talking about? This is a perfect prime example of what happens when you have your vision. You have a mental picture of what you want to do. You know what I'm talking about? We ain't going to draw this out too long, man, but I wanted to bless y'all with that. And this thing is on and popping, and it's only going to get bigger. You know what I'm talking about? I appreciate you, Emerson, for stopping by, man, and really telling your story. It's an edifying and encouraging story, and this is what we do. You know what I'm talking about? So until next time, I'm Todd McCray, he's Emerson, and we saying peace out. <laughs>